We're now going to demonstrate how to apply the T-scope knee post-op brace from Bragg. You're going to get the patient to where their leg is in a straight position, either lying on a table or sitting on a chair with their leg up on another chair. Now the brace has four straps and I would suggest to take the straps and velcro them to themselves so that you're not fighting the straps, they're not sticking to each other when you're applying the brace. Once you've done this, you're going to take these posterior strap locks and you're going to open them up and you're going to widen out the posterior aspect of the brace. Once you've done that on all four, you're going to take the brace and you're going to line up the hinges with the knee joint. Then you're going to take the telescoping hinge bars and you're going to telescope them down until they're anchored onto the ankle. You'll take the friction locks and lock them in place. You'll do the same thing up above and lock them in place. And they can be offset slightly for, to provide more comfort to the patient if you desire and lock that into place. Now that you have the length, you're going to take the quick clip buckle, you're going to secure those, next you're going to take your posterior locking straps and you're going to snug the strap up on the posterior as aspect of the leg or the back of the leg. Once it's tight you're going to lock that strap down. You can do this on all four. Making sure you don't pull too tight so as to draw the hinges back posterior and back behind the knee. You want them lined up again with the center of the knee joint. Right? You're going to snug this up. Now, once you have the back portion sitting snug against the back of the leg, you'll take the front straps and you'll tighten those down. Should your strap be impeded by the sidebars, simply take off the Y tab, trim the strap, reapply the Y tab so that the hook and loop lines up. Once the brace is tight, you've got the proper length set. They're lined up with the femoral condyles along the joint. The last thing is to set the hinges. Per your doctor's protocol, you have your flexion and extension stops. You take the spring-loaded clip, you pull out, turn it to the, the applicable flexion or extension stop, and pop it back in. You'll do that on both sides. You also have the drop lock feature, which locks out from negative 10 to 30, and is engaged simply by pressing down onto the drop lock. This locks that patient out or you can have the flexibility and motion depending on what your doctor recommends.